Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at Grand Central Station in New York City with Good Guy Activism, who used to be known as Good Guy Audits, but I still like to call him Dracula Dave. Well, you know why. I mean, look at those teeth right there. But at any rate, he uh, attempts to get onto a train without paying for a ticket or even showing his ticket at all. In fact, he considers it a Fourth Amendment violation to show his ticket to anybody. Well, of course he would, because he's a damn criminal to begin with, who doesn't understand what the Fourth Amendment is actually about, and therefore Missy uses it quite often. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Have your tickets up. You got your ticket? Now you'll notice here that Davy Boy walked right by the guy who was needing to look at all the tickets, but completely ignored him or just kind of blew him off. But the result is going to be the same. The uh, transit authority are going to come over and want to see his ticket. And, well, he's going to give them the third degree about it because he believes it's a violation of his Fourth Amendment rights. Who the fuck he's talking to? Please don't touch me. Really, dude? He touched you? I mean, it didn't look like he touched you. But you know what? As paranoid as you are, I can see how in your head how you thought he touched you. But one of these officers will be touching you here in the next few minutes. What's wrong with these people? You gotta show a ticket. You gotta show a ticket. Why? Show a ticket or you gotta go. Says who? That's what we're doing right now. Dude, I really doubt this is a daily occurrence with you because you've lived in New York City pretty much all your life and you didn't realize that you had to have a ticket to board the dang train? Are you doing this for just for the clicks and views just because you were bored today that you just wanted something to do to uh, create drama for a video? Oh, that must be it because otherwise, why would anybody be so damn stupid as to think that? They're shutting the building down. You gotta have a ticket, or you're riding the subway, or you gotta leave. Okay. Do you have a ticket? Yes. Right, you show me a ticket. Why? I just told you why. The only people I have to show my ticket to is the conductor. No, show it right now. Why? They're checking everyone's You're making tickets. me late for my train. Right, then you're gonna miss it. Am I detained? Leave. You can't come in here if you don't have a ticket. I told you I have a ticket. Then show me it. Um, no you don't because later on you're going to say that you're going to buy your ticket on the train. Which I really don't get considering that, well, I looked on uh, how to buy tickets at Grand Central Station and I didn't see anywhere where it said that you could buy your ticket while on the train. You could either do it at the desk or a kiosk. So which leads me to believe that you are indeed a being a drama queen today and you just want to stir the pot, don't you? I have to show you myself? Yes, you have to show you yourself. Why? You don't have to show me, you gotta show the gentleman him and me. Why would I have to show anybody my personal facts? I just facts? told you. Uh, the fourth personal amendment. facts. Yeah. My personal right, facts. You gotta go. You gotta go. Don't tell me. Why are you touching me? You gotta go. You gotta I'm go. going on the train. Sure, sure, What's wrong sure. with you? They showed me a ticket. Sure. Why do I have to show sure. you my ticket? I just I'm going on the train. I just have a ticket. ticket. Please don't touch me. I just you told you. You don't have a ticket. I'm going on the train, bro. 
I want to show my ticket to the conductor. No, you're showing it now. Why do I have to do that? Everyone's doing it. Hold on, the Davy boy. You're contradicting yourself right here. You just said that showing your ticket would be a violation of your Fourth Amendment rights, which it wouldn't be, considering that ticket is pretty much a disposable element right there. It's pretty much not your personal property anyway. It's just the receipt that you get for the purchase of a service. That's all that is, dude. And uh, you, if you thought it was a Fourth Amendment right to begin with, then why are you going to go in and show it to the conductor anyway? Which you should have showed it to that guy back there earlier who requested, who was actually asking for the receipts from everybody else. So, dude, Quit being a con contradictory moron at this point. You're making yourself look like a complete imbecile. I'm not everyone. I have yeah, a sure. fourth amendment. I don't have to give. I have to show you my ID, my social security number. I'm in public. I'm going on a train. This is private property. Grand Central is private property. Yes, it is. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. You gotta get, are you gonna show your ticket or no? Are you trespassing me? Because I need to take the train. Are you showing are you your stopping ticket? Stopping me? Are you showing your ticket to the conductor when I get on the train? Yes. No. Right now. Why did I, I didn't buy go. my ticket yet? Go. Go. Yo, I could walk on my own, bro. Get off, bro. Get off me. What the fuck is wrong with you? I can walk on my own. I'm not a fucking child. Show your ticket. I will when I buy it. It's on my phone. I don't buy it up on the machine. I'm gonna buy it in my, when I when I'm when I'm in my seat, comfortable on the train. That's when I buy my ticket. Why do I have to buy my ticket before I get on the train? I have an option to buy a ticket on the train, don't I? Don't I have an option to buy my ticket on the train? You gotta go. I have up until the train leaves to buy my ticket. Why do I have Maybe to show you my ticket now? You can't do that today, I'm sorry. What law is that? Hey, dumbass, it has nothing to do with the law. They're closing down Grand Central Station for the night, I suppose. This, so therefore, they need to clear everybody out of there. So, if you don't have a ticket and you want to put up a little bit of an issue about it, then why don't you make like a tree and leave? What Tell law is it? Right you, who do you work for? What's your name? I'm JPD. Sorry you're doing me that though. You didn't even it's identify no yourself. You're just yeah. touching me. It's right here. Be professional. Right here. How about that? De-escalate. I'm trying to. How about that? I'm trying to. I you quick to go hands on. You quick to touch me. Really? Over a ticket. How many times? Over a ticket. How many times I ask you? Uh, okay, what does that mean? Can you just show your ticket? I will when I buy it. I didn't buy it yet. I'm going on the train. Yeah, I didn't show us. You can't come in with That's how ticket. I do it. When I get on the train and I'm comfortable, I'm sitting down, that's when I buy my train. I, I show my ticket to the conductor. What's the difference? Why not? I told you where I'm going. I told you what I'm doing. Why do I have to show you my ticket right now? Why? I'm getting on the train. I'm, I'm going to the train. You have to show your ticket. I, I, can't be I told you I didn't buy it yet. I'm going to buy it on the train. I'm you, you have to buy it now. Why? Because you got to show it to get in today. Why? Because I'm telling you. Because you're telling me? Yes. Or is it a rule Wait, or a law? Look at everyone doing it. Okay, right. I'm not everyone. We're all different. It's called right. autonomy. We all have right. autonomous. Right. 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 Yeah. Right? Some people buy it before they enter Grand Central. I buy it when I'm on the train. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? Let me show you take it. I oh, told you, talk. I didn't can buy you? it yet. I buy it when I'm sitting down on a train. I'm asking you, can you buy it now? I'm it's recording nice. for my safety. That's fine. You're going hands on. I can't. I'm not going to stop my hand. recording to buy my ticket because you have guns and you're going hands on with me. So I don't feel comfortable stopping my recording. When I'm comfortable, then you safe. Can't ride. Then you can't ride. So then. You can't ride. I'm sorry. You so then ride. you need to, like, make me feel safe because I'm, I'm not going to stop my recording to buy my ticket. Make me feel safe. It's all surrounding me. All we need is you to buy the ticket. I'm going to buy it. Would you like me to step away? I would like all of y'all to leave me alone. Am I being detained for a crime? No, we can back up. So why are you blocking my movement? Because we can't let you go this way. Why not? I can't get on the train? You have to buy a ticket first. I was going to until you guys started surrounding me and putting your hands on me. You kept walking away. Because I'm autonomous. When I get on the train, I feel safe. Right now, all this shit that's happening, I don't feel safe to stop my recording. I don't. For my that's safety, I'm recording. Pleasure now for safety. So can you please? And for my safety, my policy when I'm in public like this, and I got men with guns going hands on, I record. So here's an idea: go outside, buy the ticket, come back in. We won't be near you. That's all. What are you enforcing right now? Are you enforcing a law, or a policy? What are you enforcing right now? Policy for right now, yes. Okay. Does policy trump the law? Oh, policy versus law. Well, I think in this particular situation, you're not exactly going to get away with this argument. I mean, they are trying to close down the building for the night. 
They need to see all the tickets to make sure everything is kosher, but you're just there to make it a whole lot more difficult for them. You know what would be easy to do? To walk your happy ass back to the kiosk, put some money on your card, buy a tick to buy the ticket or whatever, and show your ticket stub to the uh, guy back there, and then get on the train. No fuss, no muss. And then you would be riding the train. It's that simple. Don't I have the fourth amendment, the right? They're closing the building. You understand? The what what time? Step for people who are riding the train. Which, I, which is what I'm doing. But you don't have a ticket yet. Not yet. Yes, that's the problem. But I'm going to buy my ticket when no, I'm on the train. What policy is that? Why is that happening? What's the difference from today and every other day? Sir, he just explained something. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to your supervisor. No, I'm, no, I'm done. I'm done talking. What's the he difference for today? No Why is today so different? That's why you never answered that question. Will I get arrested if I go get on the train? Will I get arrested if I go board the train? Am I? Huh? What law are you enforcing? Right there, he's above you? That guy in the green jacket? Am I detained for a crime? You're not detained, you can't go past. So why? You can't go past. Okay, past where? Here. Past that line? No, past me. Okay. And well, there you have it. He finally got the point. Well, at least he did for a short time. Then he came back and badgered them a little bit more and then left again. But you know what? Davy Boy here is a complete moron anyway. Complete high school dropout, criminal scumbag, and everything like that. Uh, doesn't understand anything. Doesn't understand how the law works, though he likes to think he does, which gets him into trouble quite a bit. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?